Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today I'm going to show you a Ukrainian klezmer tune called Hop Cossack. If you're familiar with um, Fiddler on the Roof, then you'll know that the Jews of Ukraine and the Cossacks were not uh, good neighbours. And um, the, uh, the Cossacks did the bidding mostly of the Russian authorities and harassed the Jews at every possible moment. And there was a, um, a convention that the, uh, the Cossacks would sometimes get a, a Jew and force him to dance along with um, a, a Cossack and the Cossacks of course were great dancers so the, the, the Jews had to compete with the Cossacks along with their dancing and this tune apparently tells the story of a, a particular uh, Jewish leader a, the Shpolat Saida who was a tzaddik or wise man who, uh, who got the better of the Cossacks by um, secretly dressing up in the bearskin um, replacing the person who was supposed to be dancing and he was a superb dancer and he got the better of the Cossack and danced far better than him and so in this tune we have a slow and stately um, klezma type tune to start with and we finish off with uh, some real Cossack type dancing and the, it finishes off with a tune which is a, actually a hopak um, which is one of the, the most lively jumping dancers of the Cossacks uh, so I'm going to take you through the different parts of this tune. Um, I'll, we'll do it without the backing to start with and at the end we will do the speeding up and uh, play with the backing. So we're starting off with a very slow and stately tune. <laughs> This will uh, certainly benefit from some klezma ornamentation, um, mostly the, the downward glissando. <laughs> and the vibrato trill, where you take a long melody note and you rock the, um, the next finger up right onto that uh, finger and just disturb the string. And I do have a video about that. Uh, and we have the crests so the crests is where you uh, disturb the note right at the end of the note with the fourth finger so you just press the finger down just enough to stop the note uh, not enough to hear a clean sound for that note and again I do have a video about the crests Okay, so we move into the next section, also stately. And with this you can certainly play it uh, much more rubato than that. sing along with it and if you happen to have uh, a number of people prepared to sing in your band then this is going to sound great <laughs> And 
Um, there are some very good old recordings of this with lots of people singing along and it sounds great. Um, right, now we're going to speed up to the next section and we're going to F minor. <laughs> Then we have um, something like what's called a sometimes called a shout chorus, which is basically a die 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 die. die. In in this case, it's something like that. So it's. The second of those two bars could be played like this. And that I think is a little bit more effective actually than playing the melody. So it speeds up through that. Um, and you could do with a stopped chord as the backing. Then we're into the hop back. And you can really get as fast as you want with this. Okay, from there you can repeat back to the beginning, uh, slow right down to do the intro again, or you can go back to the uh, third section. Klezmer tune would finish off at full tempo, something like this. But this one, I think it's best if you slow down right at the end, because it kind of suits the dance. And at that point you would get the thunderous applause from the Jewish audience and the scowls from the Cossacks. Okay, um, I'm going to play you out once more with the, um, the whole tune played with the backing. Charlie, so thank you for asking for it, Charlie. I had not heard of this tune before.
If you'd like a copy of the sheet music for Hop Cossack, then do subscribe to the channel and send me an email. And I would be very grateful if you consider joining me on Patreon, which is what helps to keep these videos coming and gives me the enthusiasm to produce more and more. Uh, thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you again soon.